A 47-year-old man is behind bars after he assaulted a post office worker because the parcel hadn't arrived. At 12.56pm on Monday the 25th of March, authorities responded to the post office at 16 North New Haven Street in Marietta, Pennsylvania on reports of a postal officer lying behind the counter bleeding. When officers arrived on scene, they found the victim dazed and confused with injuries to his face. The victim told officers that the suspect, who police identified as 47-year-old James Moore, jumped over the post office counter and punched him in the head several times, knocking him unconscious. Police said the suspect assaulted the worker after he became upset that the package hadn't yet been delivered. James was still on scene when the officers arrived, and he was arrested without incident. James is charged with aggravated assault and remains held at the Lancaster County Prison on a $200,000 bond. The investigation into the matter continues. A 27-year-old man is behind bars for fatally shooting a 29-year-old man during an altercation. At 4.24am on Sunday the 24th of March, authorities responded to the 100 block of Harrison Drive in Lafayette, Louisiana on reports of a disturbance. When officers arrived on scene, they discovered that a man had been shot during a fight involving several people and that he'd already been taken to a local hospital by private means prior to their arrival. Officials said that the victim, who was identified as 29-year-old Elsie Cyprian, later died at hospital from his injuries. During the investigation, detectives identified 27-year-old Jasiri Hilliard as a suspect in the shooting. The following day, he was arrested and booked into the Lafayette Parish Correctional Centre on a second-degree murder charge. The investigation into the matter continues. 53-year-old Jeffrey Fowler is behind bars for fatally shooting his 17-year-old daughter Kaylee Fowler. And just after 9pm on Thursday the 21st of March, authorities responded to a home at 2789 Haynes Linen Highway in Chadburn, North Carolina on reports of a domestic dispute, which was upgraded to a shooting. When officers arrived on scene, they entered the premises and found Kaylee deceased. Authorities said that Jeffrey and his wife were in an argument, and Kaylee got involved. Jeffrey then shot Kaylee twice in the face after she tried to stop him from assaulting her mother. Investigators said that Jeffrey had been shot five times, and was airlifted to Novan Health New Hanover Regional Medical Center in a critical condition. It's unclear how Jeffrey was shot. On Saturday the 23rd of March, Jeffrey was discharged from hospital and was booked into the Columbus County Detention Center at 4.16pm. He is charged with first-degree murder and remains held without bond. The investigation into the matter continues. A 26-year-old man is behind bars for fatally shooting another passenger on a Greyhound bus. The shooting occurred at just after 11pm on Sunday the 24th of March, while the bus was travelling eastbound on the Interstate 10 in Jackson County, Mississippi. Authorities said that 26-year-old Rashad Price of Slidale, Louisiana, and 25-year-old Jay Jackson of Decatur, Georgia, were embroiled in a dispute when Rashad pulled out a gun and shot Jay. The two men prior to getting on the bus are not believed to have known each other. It's unclear what the argument was about. Following the shooting, Rashad demanded the driver to stop the bus so he could get off. The bus driver then dropped Rashad off at just before exit 61. The driver then drove to a fast mark gas station at 5500 Gaucher Van Cleve Road in Gaucher, where officers found Jay deceased on the bus. No other passengers were injured. At around 3am on Monday the 25th of March, deputies spotted Rashad running across the interstate and took him into custody. Rashad is charged with murder and is held at the Jackson County Adult Detention Centre without bond. The investigation into the matter continues.